Let me, I'll do the, I'll do the sick ass player intros first, alright? Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. Spawning in the bottom left. Oh shit, I didn't put his tag up. <laughs> He's playing for Gen Air. The best PVT Protoss player. It is Trap. Easy. Fuck you, Gemini. <laughs> oh, the timing on that. That is, that is, that was glorious. Very well done. Where do I, how do I set myself to busy? Fuck you, Gemini. <laughs> Why am I, how am I not on busy? Uh, holy shit, Vdeck, what the fuck? You just gave me 20 subs, Jesus. Set status to busy, there we go. Fuck you, Gemini. <laughs> oh shit, this is gonna keep going on and on, isn't it? Ay, ay, ay. Alright. Other player intro. He's a Terran player. I lost all my hype. Oh no, all the sound is getting all mixed up. He plays for Kaizy Gaming. Fuck you, Gemini. No, it's Bunny. <laughs> oh shit! All right, this is the high quality production level you you should be expecting from the Gemini Korean Invitational right here, boys and or girls. Fuck you, Gemini. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, let me put the. Where's the? There we go. Trap boy's playing on his little barcode here. Always have to put the little nameplate up. Fuck you, Gemini. Ay, ay, ay. 20 of these, Jesus. Thank you so much again, Vdeck. Much appreciated. <laughs> the timing on. <laughs> oh, and it was so funny. Alright, so the trap's gonna open with Stargate. Bunny. Fuck you, Gemini. <laughs> playing very defensively with uh, the bunker. Coming out into factory. Uh, going for a reactor as well behind it, but the factory is not close enough to the barracks, so we're not going to see a swaparoo for Hellions. Likely going to just be uh, Marine Hellion or Marine uh, Widowmine Drop. <laughs> Marine Widowmine Drop. Uh, or it might just be Cyclone Raven. Yeah, okay, there we go. Widowmines coming on in. Fuck you, Gemini. <laughs> uh, what's up, Fear Dragon? Too easy, all you nerds. It's so funny, dude. Is it over yet? I think it's over, finally. Fuck you, Gemini. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, this game. Oracle coming out for trap, that's totally normal. Uh, he usually goes either Oracle or Blink. In PVT, he's been going a lot of blink. A lot. There's been a lot of blink, blink colossus, especially in PVT recently, just because of the charge lot nerf. Uh, it's Fuck been, you, it's been much more common to go for colossus based styles just to get that extra damage out. It's kind of diff. It's a little difficult to go for the straight up blink charge, double forge, single forge kind of stuff. Uh, Fuck you, Gemini. <laughs> It's it's just a little difficult. Imagine if that stalker got bounced off the cliff. That'd be pretty sick. He's gonna lose a probe. Unfortunate, but that reaper will finally die, which is nice. Two oracles. Suddenly gonna p cross paths with the medevac. That's very lucky for him. He's just gonna go ahead and follow it. Eventually put a tag on it. I'm sure. Fuck you, Zemini. No you. Tag it. I guess he's just gonna follow it. I don't know. Well, that's a perfect deflection then. He's gonna use the Phoenix to help with as well. Not gonna waste energy, I guess, if he doesn't need to. Although he could have easily gotten juked right now. I don't know what he's doing. Whatever. Third base with Forge and Twilight coming out at the same time. Fuck you, Zemini. One one of these days it'll stop. <laughs> Thanks for another gifted sub to, to Fear Dragon Vdeck, an absolute legend. Can I get out? Yeah, I can. Easy. 
fuck you, Gemini. Uh, right, no one's allowed. No one else is allowed to gift subs. It's not. It's not allowed. I want to. I want to talk. He should, be, he should be going charge blink or I mean charge plus one. Oh, blink. Cool. This is different. I love Gemini. You know. No, you. <laughs> Trap has been doing a lot of different charge lot Phoenix kind of stuff for the most part in PVT a lot. I love Gemini. Um, you know. <laughs> oh shit, I need to turn off the follow notifications. Wait up. That's gonna keep going for a long time if I don't do that. Wait up. Wait up. Let me turn that off. Okay, you can follow. Go ahead and follow Bunny's perspective. Super serious casting production value. Follows. Disabled. Save settings. Noise. Okay. That should be good. Alright, what am I drop? Doesn't really get that much. That oh those oracles actually almost got splash damage, that would have been pretty unfortunate. Oh okay, okay. Those extra probes there was a little, a uh, little risky. Just the other day uh, in Kung Fu Cup, Bunny beat Trap three to two to one, and he had an unfortunate situation where there was some mid Widow Mines left from a drop, and then they killed a whole like twelve probes that were transferring down back into the natural, and he didn't realize they were there. Nice, good catch. So the game's been pretty even after the fact that almost no damage was done by either side originally from the initial Widowmine drop or even the Oracle opener. Uh, Bunny's been trying to go ahead and do one of these little two base pushes. Gets a couple Widowmines in the stasis, that's pretty nice, but needs to be careful to not lose those Oracles. Not the best force fields here. He's going to at least zone away the, the Wid or keep away from the Widowmines and forces the, forcing the bio to the left more. But he doesn't really have that much army here. Uh, he's forcing him to pull the probes to kind of buffer a little bit. Wid or the Widowmine gets the Oracle, trying to splash it onto the bio, but not overly effective. Blink dodges the mine. Some more Blink Stalkers coming out of nowhere. <laughs> He'll be able to come and chase this down now. Blink's on top, kills off some of the mines, gets the Metavacs. A bit of a sketchy defense, I'll be honest. Not the most effective, but gets the job done. What's our income at? Oh yeah, we have workers down here. I'm so used to like the non. I'm so not used to the not WCS overlay that I always look up here for stuff, but it's actually just right here. 66 to 62. Wow, how convenient. Fourth base going down. Okay, that's interesting that he's taking this fourth base. That's cool to know because recently in this season they got rid of the extra gas geysers over here, the, the, the resource rich ones. And so it's I always felt it very awkward to take any of these bases at this point in the season. Because like before I used to do it where I would take the, the vertical one. But like this one is kind of awkward to defend I feel sometimes, but anyway. Kills off the mine, kill off some SCVs making the supply depots. That's actually really unfortunate because Bunny's about to be supply blocked in a little bit, but luckily one of them finishes, so it's okay. That is a lot of Metavax, dude. Storm just now finishing. What are our upgrades at? How do I get upgrades? There we go. One, 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 one. All around. A nice little arc here for Trap, but uh, he has two Storms. He doesn't want to use them quite yet just because the bio is already pre-split here. He's being super, super patient with them. Blinks over to kill some of the Marauders as well. He really wants to wait to use those Storms until he absolutely needs to. And at the point that we're in right now, def definitely does not need to, and Trap kind of takes that pretty, pretty, pretty cleanly. It's still just very even at this point. No clear, no clear advantage for for any player right now because Bunny's going into EMP. Did Trap? Did I see a Robo Bay somewhere on production? I don't think so. No, yeah, so no Robo Bay out of Trap yet, not going into the double Robo Colossus transition since he's just kind of chilling on a couple Templar. He's just warped in a bunch more uh, for backup Templar just recently, but he's only got a few in his army. 
There's the double robo and robo bait. There we go. Very nice. It'll be a little late comparatively to the the ghost transition, but given the fact that the the early game opening kind of was so even, and he kind of had to scrape by at first, it was kind of expected. So Bunny probably has a, a decent window at this point if he can get some very good EMPs to really wipe out Trap's army. If he's not careful, it gets two of the the Templar right there, bringing one forward. Tried to get the EMP or the the feedback off. Not happening. Big Zealot run by coming over into the natural, but there's plenty prepared. This isn't going to do anything. Trap's paying attention. You shouldn't. There we go. Yeah, that did basically nothing. Kind of a waste. Ooh, he's on the hunt though, Trap is. Might be able to find those m Oh, that's so close. <laughs> that's the worst. Okay, this drop's gonna come in completely undetected. There's a couple of Templar here, but they're not gonna be anywhere close enough to be able to deal with that. Uh, warp Eights are just finishing, so he should have a Warp in. There we go. Middle of the map posturing as well by bunnies to threaten any sort of movement into the third or fourth base. Recall comes out as well to really clean this up. Snipes down the medevacs immediately, so nothing, none of this is going away. Uh, but he's got to be careful, Trap is now, because this main army is going right to his fourth base, and that's going to take a long time for this army to actually get to. And in that meantime, Trap's High Templar get completely EMP'd. Luckily there are the backup Templar, but only one of the storms get off before another EMP comes out. Two Colossus coming for the flank, but those are easily going to get sniped off if Bunny tar decides to target fire them, and he does get one and potentially the second. If the- oh, the storm! Oh! Oh, he saved- Okay, not- Oh my god, that was the closest thing in the world. In the meantime, on the other side here, the ghosts are all getting picked off as well. The, the split-up fight ended up favoring Trap there. Since Bunny had to spend so much of his bio to the left trying to snipe those double colossus, and that one Templar coming in clutch with the storm really helped out. Uh, the stuff on the on the other side really started to get overwhelmed by the the gateway force of Trap. However, again, it's still completely even. Trap cannot push this right now. Absolutely not, especially not with a warp prism. None of these have have energy. I don't think either for a storm. Nope. So yeah. Continuing to be very, very even. Every trade is is not an overwhelming one. Both players just kind of skimming by, basically. This is very similar to their Kung Fu Cup match that just happened the other day. It was super back and forth, really scrappy Clown Fiesta games that were ridiculously entertaining to watch. Uh, and this is kind of reflecting that same that same level of play, I guess, from both players. Bunny has apparently been stepping it up pretty decently recently. Decently recently. Nice. Good English. Where's my Twitch chat? There we go. Coming over to the fourth base. He's not repairing. Storming down to the SCVs. All of them get taken out, and the planetary will go down with it. Bunny's army is completely on the other side of the map, going to be trying to kill off this third base. There's no Templar prepared to defend that. The recall is available. And he has the energy, but if he EMPs it, if he EMPs the Nexus, then we are having no recall. Looks like Trap doesn't want to go for it. It would be too risky at this point, considering the fact that the army is already there. He'd lose a lot of his things. So Bunny gets a, another base for free, other than the planetary at the bottom, though. But he's got a lot of bases set up at this point, actually. Like, this one floating over to the from the main over here, though, is definitely a, a bit misleading. However, still a good amount. Lots of EMPs going down. Not a single one of those Templars was able to get a storm off. A bit of a sloppy engage out of Trap right there. He wasn't quite expecting the army to, to be met immediately. And all of a sudden, now Bunny is in a really good spot. He's got a huge window right now if he can use the, the lack of Templar to his advantage. There are three Colossus and a Disruptor, so it's still very strong, but there's a lot of Vikings here. But Bunny kind of gets a little stuck himself. Some Templar in the War Prism come down. And my oh my, loses the disruptor though. I'm not quite sure. This is oh, this is such a clown fiesta. I mean, the initial part part was so good out of trap with the surround flank, but Bunny still just had too much there. Not using the disruptors either. That one ooh does actually get a really good hit off. I was not expecting that one to to complete. Vikings landing as well. The disruptors are coming out three at a time. By the way. So while this looks really bad for Trap right now, if any of these Disruptors can get out, it could end up being 
it can end up swinging very quickly, but I don't know if he's going to have the, the time to, to do that, because now Bunny's starting to uh, shave through a lot of the reinforcements even. Forcing to lift off and get out of here, but not not really good for Trap here right now. What's the ar army upgrades? 3-3 three, three to 3-2. Three, Damn, and Traps is going to GD out. Honestly, kind of surprised how that ma that 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 attack went like that was such a I don't know the the surround I thought would would do it very well for him but ended up not being so Simulacrum next map Initial fight. Did I say that? <laughs> uh. It's funny. It's hard to cast, man. I make I make some slip ups of the tongue, and everyone laughs at me. update sub goal I will don't worry I'm doing all this myself right now I gotta make sure all the other matches are going as well this is the first time I'm doing tournament style with uh, other matches happening at the same time as the one I'm casting oops not that get that out of here Uh, let me move this down. Okay. So at the bottom, we got Trap. Losing a bit of a nail biter. And at the top, we got Bunny playing for Kaizi. We can chill on one of their webcams, or one of their player cams, while I check some things. Gemini total earnings 90 bucks. Oh yeah, dude. The sickest 90 bucks you've ever seen in your life. second uh, I think true is playing okay cool all right hello what the heck oh there we go <laughs> I was like why is this not following this camera Saying very good today, actually. What? What? Oh shoot! SCT replace that spot. Get out of here! No, no, no. Banned. You have to subscribe to my Patreon if you want the replays. <laughs> Sell out. But yeah, if you do want the replays, uh, any tier amount to my Patreon gets them. Just by the way. Easy sellouts. They're up within 15 minutes of the tournament finishing. Alright. Bunny going for looks like the same thing. Reactor's probably going to come down just after this Marine. Marine's going to be here to chill in case Trap decided to go for a late probe scout. Uh, or a rescout, I mean. So he's kind of patrolling his probe down here. Going to eventually go up over here to see if he can see anything. Or he's just going to leave it down there, because I've seen him do that too, and that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, Stargate coming out from Trap. It's a little late, though. He got it after Warpgate, even. Usually you see players skip Warpgate and try to get st the Stargate out as fast as humanly possible. But he's going for it slightly later this time, potentially just wanting to maybe keep it hidden from a Reaper Scout. Okay, here comes that probe. 
attempting to dodge the Reaper, and holy Jesus, he does it perfectly, even after Bunny kept the Reaper home. I feel like that was entirely coincidental. Like, there's no way that he knows exactly when Bunny would send the the delayed Reaper Scout out. That wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. He's going to try to dodge the, the Reaper at this point, though. Okay, subbing. Sick. Sell out successful. Probe gets found. Easy picks. We'll see if any player gets to do any early damage this game, considering the fact that last time we had the Widow Mine Drop immediately scouted on the middle of the map with the Oracles, and then Trap just chased it all the way home. Wasn't able to do anything, and then the Widow Mine's just prepared at home as well to, to keep it safe. This is actually really cute from Trap, going for Double Stalker after Adept into Stargate. So from Bunny's point of view, this doesn't really look like Stargate, considering the fact that he walled off this side and kept the Stargate on this side as well. This doesn't... this may not... Uh, this may not cue Bunny to anticipate any Oracles coming out right now, so he may or may not get caught off guard. What in the world is this? How the fuck did... oh my god. What are the chances of this happening? Both players just send out their one useless random unit from the beginning in some whatever pathway, and they happen to pass by each other. Amazing. But yeah, as we can see, Oracle's coming in now. The middle Widow Mine Drop is over on Trap's side of the map, so there's nothing here to defend these these uh, Oracles. Only the Marines, but they'll be able to shred through a couple of them. Nice micro on one of them. Widow Mine Drop going in right now, and he's going to be able to clean up all the Marines because of that. And Trap reacts perfectly to the Widow Mines back at home, assuming he doesn't re- oh, These ones though, these ones though, these ones though... Holy jeebus, that was close. <laughs> Yo, what is this Oracle Micro? There's like no health on any of these. Finally loses one. But yeah, that one definitely uh, much, much in the favor of Trap. Very different compared to last game. What are the units lost? Yeah, 10 SCVs, 11 Marines, killed all the Widow Mines in the drop, only lost an Oracle and a couple mine, a couple probes from the mines. Very, very good. Very good stuff out of Trap. Dep Shades in, trying to get a scout, doesn't really see much. Sees the medevac home, which is always just a nice reassurance, but it's not like it would be out with anything at this point anyway. Vikings should be able to keep these out, no prob. Easy peasy. Blink plus one coming out as well. He should have a much easier time defending any potential two base follow ups with this blink plus one, given how much damage he was able to do earlier on. It's gonna set Bunny back much more compared to last game. So we should see a, we should see Trap kind of scale up quite quite what's the word? Smoothly, I should say, from this point on. Adept doesn't even get taken out. Wow, look at that. One one ups. Third base is on the way for Bunny as well. Wonder how many times I'm gonna say as well this cast. That was my word of the the cast a couple cast a couple of tournaments ago. Observing is on point. Thank you. I do my best. I try. I've watched too many tournaments with subpar and garbage observing that I I try, I try, even though I'm casting at the same time. And I am a player, like, first and foremost, so I know that I am I have the tendency to, like, look around a little too quickly and, like, click on everything all the time. Like, I try not to do the dumbass box selecting shit that some player casters do, <laughs> but I, I do click on stuff a lot, so uh, let me know if the casting is not, or the observing is... Okay, not okay. I'll try my best. It's hard to do at the same time as casting, though. Oracles are just gonna barely miss this little movement over here, but seeing that there's no army at the third base, Trap can very easily assume that it's out somewhere, and Bunny's gonna just lift up all three of them and go right into the main base. However, Trap very easily prepared with that. Got a uh, patrolling Phoenix and the Stalkers prepared with vision on the pylons too. 
He's even moving his stuff to, to prepare since he sees that it's not coming towards his third base at this point. He can kind of process of elimination decide that it's going to be likely a drop somewhere towards natural or main. Um, he's also got the observer sitting over here too. So he didn't see anything come that way. So he can safely assume that this is where the drop is going. And uh, it's not going to do anything. Bunny just kind of powering up at this point. Double Colossus production coming in now for Trap instead of the Goat or uh, the High Templar like last time. So that's potentially a another Jebate onto Bunny. However, the scan does come off from him, so that's very good. He's not going to go straight into Cloaked Ghosts. I don't think he got Cloaked last time, but just Ghosts in general. I mean, Ghosts are just good with the, the, the bigger EMP right now, but obviously it's much better to go for mass spiking production with the extra starport, assuming that you see a fast double colossus transition. Oh no, don't kill it, don't run into it, no. Double medevac drop going to the top. This one's probably going to eventually do something or at least bait Trap's attention with the revelation on it. He might try to boost it around towards the bottom side to draw Trap's attention while this one goes up to the top. Fourth base almost completing as well. Nice scouting factory. I kind of like that a lot. Yep, here's the bait. Brings this whole army down here, but Trap's too fucking good for that. Sending part of his army to the top as well. Knows what kind of solid good position he is in and is preparing accordingly. Got to get, has a zealot to scout for the top as well and again nothing's touching him this spin nothing is touching him too easy I'm going to ban you if you point out every single small pronunciation error that I make while trying to cast this game or better yet I won't ban you but I will invite you onto the cast and have you do it all by yourself. I'll even put the observing camera onto yours so that you have to observe as well. So I'm literally just sitting here watching. Fuck you, Zemini. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. The timing on these notifications today has been absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Holy Jesus. I love it, dude. Alright. Trap's moving out right now. <laughs> oh, he's going. He's skirting around the center tower range. Uh, how many Vikings we got out? Ten. That's quite a lot. Four Colossus. I'm kind of surprised by how many he has. He's going for the big four Colossus Archon. He's just going for a big-ass bus. Like, blinking right on top of the Vikings. He's going to try and focus as many of them as down as possible before they can get off their volleys. Oh, the Phoenix even baiting shots as well. That's actually super bad for Bunny. He was not target firing, so a lot of those Vikings were shooting off onto some random Phoenix. So all the Vikings get killed off, and we're left with two Colossus. The one reinforcing one does get picked off. However, Bunny still is able to, able to muster enough somehow to kill that off. I'm very surprised at that. Losing 28 SCVs in the process, though, is likely how he was able to hold that off. If he had not done the SCV pool, I'd imagine he probably would have ended up in a worse situation army-wise, so good call on the SCV pool. Down like 20 or so workers at this point. Trap getting reset on his Colossus count, only down to one as well, makes it really, really difficult to now hold a counter push. So Trap's going to be in a little bit of a pain town here, especially with only two or one one ups as well. This is not looking too good. Forcing to use the uh, Stalkers to kill off the Vikings, that's normal though. Two more Colossus come down from the flank. That's going to be really nice to help out. A lot of the bio force down onto the other Colossus, but there's just so many Marauders here that the Colossus aren't really useful, actually. And I think Trap, is he just going to get bopped out? I don't know. Still kind of close. Little notes, Aceless. I'm not going to call games until they're done. But, I mean, he's down 30 army supply, 40 army supply. I can do math, don't worry. Two more classes are about to come out, but considering the fact that it is only Marauders, there's no Marines that could very easily melt away to these, uh, the Colossus. He does get the Nexus Snipe, which is great. Gonna put him ahead in base count, and now that the Colossus, now that the Colossus are here, the Trap's gonna have a little bit of security. However, ooh, gotta be very careful on that one. 
No, he holds. Or does he, Stefan? Does he, though? Because from what I'm seeing, I don't know if this is what you'd call a hold there, buddy. The Vikings are landing once more. The Colossus are all gone again. I wonder if Disruptors would have been a better choice as they come out quicker and have potential, more potential bursts, especially versus the very strong and beefy Marauders. This fight has been going on for the last, like, three minutes. Maybe not that long. Oh my god, even picks up two of the Marauders to drop down. And that is it. Bunny. Two O's. Trap. Goddamn.